Okay, in this video on my close to the heart journal, I'm going to show you how I made this knob on <clears throat> my journal. And also how I made the cover. <clears throat> the cover is made out of file folders. Because I had the <clears throat> pocket folders for the signatures, I had to have a cover that was custom made. So I took my file folder and I measured it and uh, cut the file folder in half which gave me two pieces which allowed me to glue those two pieces together so that it gave it more weight. So then once I had that done then I have about an inch and a half on each side for my three inch spine. So I took a piece of cardboard that was the size of a little smaller than in between here. And in between my two pieces of file folder, I laid that down in there <clears throat> and then glued the other piece on top so that my spine would have a lot more support than just the two ply file folder. So then when I got done uh, making the, it just wasn't long enough. I wanted it to extend out farther so I could add the lace and cool things that would still be contained within. So I added a piece on to the ends. Right here you can see. It's about two inches, folded it in half, glued it on about a half an inch down onto my, to extend my, uh, my book a little longer out from my signatures. So that's what I did there. Real fancy stuff. So now when I made my closure on there, I didn't want it to be too tight. I needed something adjustable. Uh, so I wanted a knob. So I'm going to show you how I made my knob. It took me about, gosh, now I have two hours to figure it out. So I'm going to show you because it's really quite quick. So first, this is what we need. This piece of wire. This would be your knob. This would be a shank button of some sort. Piece of eyelet. These are the eyelets. They come with, uh, you know, the shorter piece and the longer piece. Because they go like that and then you got some kind of tool that rivets them together. Well, I'm only using this because I'm trying to raise my knob up off of my journal. And we need this tool. We need this little eyelet. And we need this tool. It's called <laughs> I can't think of what the darn thing is called right now. It's by memory keepers. It's a whatever. So you need that. Okay, so I did the video already before and couldn't get it off my camera, so I already have the rivet put in. So I'll do another one. So say this is your cover, you lay your cover down. You want your knob in the middle or wherever you would like it, but I'm going to put it in the middle. I'll go in about a half an inch, so minus four inches. So I take my marker, in half of four inches is two inches, so I make a mark there, dark enough so I can see it. And I take my punch and the bigger hole. There's a bigger hole on this side and a smaller hole on this side. Uh, the bigger hole because we have to fit this eyelet into it. So put it on there. You can see my hole in there. Line it up. Punch it. It's pretty easy. Then we take uh, our eyelet, put it in the hole. Then the other end of your tool has the compresses the eyelet. So the little stem goes in the hole 
and there's different settings for the bottom, the base piece. So I always have to make sure I'm doing it evenly, and then I just crunch it together. So now we have our eyelet in our cover. So then we take our shank button and a piece of wire, and we put that through like that, about halfway, and you bend it. Now you have to have this part of the wire here pretty narrow so it goes through there. So I take my little tool or pliers or whatever and I pinch that I pinch that together so it's it's nice and thin. About like that. And you can try it if you have to thin it out a little to get it through. Then we take our eyelet. And I have to have the eyelet be upside down like this. I like to have a gluing surface. Plus then it just fits right around that so nice. It doesn't move around too much. If you try to do it this way, first of all, it doesn't sit flat on there. So then if I'm when I'm connecting it, then I'll put some glossy accents on there when I know I got everything lined up right. So that goes over the hole. Then your wire goes through the hole. very easily except for today when I'm trying to do it. Okay, first I put it through there. And I'll put it through the hole. Okay, now we got it through the hole. And uh, pull it down. And there we go. See? See, just raised up off of there. Kind of good looking knob. Then you lay it down so it's kind of flat and take a hold of your wire. Pull up and open it up kind of like a paper fastener. And uh, there you go. It's on there really nice and tight. And so, let me move my tools here. So that's why on the inside of the cover, I have these flowers. Uh, put some, I goobered on the glossy accents and then once I had it nice and flat and tight on there, and then I put the flowers and glued the flowers over it. So, you know, kind of hides this. So that's how I did my knob, and I thought, oh, that is pretty slick. It doesn't really take long at all once you can figure out what you're doing. So that is my Close to the Heart journal, and I will have that uh, for sale in my Etsy store. One other thing I wanted to say was uh, don't forget to go over to my... Um, 500 subbies giveaway video and enter for my giveaway for the journal. This is the journal that I'll be giving away. It's a Steam Town, Steam Town Spring. And you can watch that on the video. One thing I wanted to clear up on the closure for that knob was I, for the life of me, couldn't think of the name of the knob. Uh, on this one, but uh, the, they're large paper fasteners. That's what they are. So, and that one, uh, that closure, like I said, had uh, the upside down eyelid on a cogwell with the paper fastener through, and then I just cut it off. So, So that's that. There were a couple of other little pockets that I was making, trying to add them to my Etsy store as well. Uh, this is some uh, with the Martha Stewart punch. I've been and I'm trying to make some little envelopes that are kind of dainty with matching tags. Uh, so they have that one, and then there's this one. Has a little bit of the outline of the gold butterfly on that, and then this one is kind of a teeny, teeny little bitsy pocket with some old book page and a little vintage lady, a little gold foil reinforcer, and a little tag in there. So, yeah, those are my little tags I've been working on. So, um I say you can check out my Etsy store and uh, all these things will be kind of listed on there eventually.
So thank you for watching.